Oh yeah. Just came up, bought off the back. Sick. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is a trip to the thrift, uh, 110 I think. I think it's just gonna be a short one. Uh, only a few finds, but like really cool bits. Um, and I did buy an item off you guys back. Uh, so yeah, make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new here, follow my Instagram, my Depop down there at the bottom of the screen, Ryan's Finds, I join this, I find this, and follow the wholesale Instagram again down there at the bottom of the screen. I think that's it, which you can get into it. Like the video, subscribe, and enjoy the clips, and we'll come back here and go through everything that I find. So yeah, enjoy. How much have you got on the jacket? Um, 60 pounds. 60? <clears throat> that's a nice part of jacket, yeah. Yeah. How much are the shoes? Uh, eight quid, but I'll take seven. I've got them, what, they're from 19, they're from 19. They're early 2000s. Yeah. I think I've got one of them. I've got two of them. What, these? Before I got that normally sells online, but he didn't show up today, so. I've got three left. Yeah, the same model. Yeah, the same model. Do 15 on the three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The white nine is me already. It's too early for that, bro. <laughs> Give me 18 and it's all yours, mate. You're gonna probably make 18 or one shoe in there. For more. Because he's got Depop. Uh, well, I ain't got no time for Depop. This pop, that pop. Cash is king. Uh, those are 35, my dear. Do you have a fire now? Uh, no. I might actually, yeah. Uh, Which is tops. Um, uh, so I'll have a look. I'll have another look, and I'll come and find you. How much? How much is the? Want, want a few, a how much is the England top? Uh, three quid. Please. Three quid. Over there. Oh, 
Does it zip up, does it? Yes. Yeah. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. This is a really weird question. Basically, I collect vintage. Would you ever sell your fleece? Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Just bought this off. An old guy's back. He was wearing it. Well, he's sitting having a coffee, and I waited until he stood up, and then I went and bought it off him. Mad. Found one of these finally out in the wild. Right, so those are the clips. Starting off, we're going to go through all the t shirts and then we'll go from there. Uh, first of all, we've got this, I think it's a training top, early 2000s England Umbro top. I found loads of football shirts recently, so that's going to be saved uh, until the World Cup comes. But there's that one, that was 50p. Then we got this next bundle of shirts, which cost me £10 for the lot. This first one's really cool, might be one to sit on on eBay. It's Spider Man 3 from 2007, I think it is dated. Yeah, 2007. It's got that graphic on the front. Uh, yeah, it might be an eBay one to sit on for like 40, 50 pounds all in. Then we've got a couple of Marvel bits. First we've got Ghost Rider. I just picked this up because I know it's like an early 2000s movie, uh, but unfortunately it isn't dated. That's the tag. Maybe like 15 to maybe 25 all in on Depop. And then we've got a nice Wolverine one, again on the same tag. Uh, I wouldn't wear it myself, but I think it's quite a cool t-shirt. Wolverine just on the front, nothing on the back. Then we've got a couple of bootleg surfing t-shirts. Uh, Billabong one there. Bit of one on the back. It's quite a cool tag, but it's like a made in Thailand bootleg, I think. There, I think that's like 50p in the bundle. Then we got a nice O'Neill one, just that hit on the front, and then one on the back. Again, that was like 50p in the bundle. And then to finish off the bundle was a couple of England shirts. That one there, and then this red one here, which again will be kept and saved until the World Cup comes around. And then we got a few pairs of shoes. I'm always going to buy shoes which are in these boxes just because I love the era of Nike. It's a classic early 2000s box and it is a woman's sandal or what they called they are called women's beachy sandal um but yeah that's the sandal very random i think i paid like six pound the box if i took them all um i thought why not just have them on display or do something with them just got a swoosh there on the front i think they're quite small sizes uh, but they are dead stock. I just love these boxes. I've got a whole pile of them all unfolded somewhere. I don't know where it is in this room, um, which hopefully I'll do something with in a few years time. I don't know what, but it'll be cool. That's those three boxes. And then finally getting into the sweatshirts. First of all, we've got a few screen stars, uh, blanks, a couple of early 2000 ones. And then this one is a mid to late nineties one. Uh, I paid 50p each on these and I've sold all three of them for 20 pound all in. Which is pretty fair considering postage would be four pounds. Then you've got the item cost, which is one pound fifty for the three. Then you've got my time, you've got fuel, you got entrance to the car boot, you got all of that. So I'm probably making like 10, maybe 12 pounds after fees and all of that. But they're all just nice blanks, perfect condition, all dead stock, uh, in and out the door. Then we've got a couple of hoodies which I bought together. This first one is a nice red on black Nike hoodie. Uh, I think it's on the athletic department printed tag. So maybe it's like teens, like 2010 to 2013 maybe. Uh, so it's not too old. And then we've got a nice Gap spell out hoodie, which is a good size for once. I always find like kids or women's size hoodies. So there's that one there. And then we've got this nice, I think early 2000s, Salomon zip up fleece. I'll show you guys the tag. I think it is early 2000s. I haven't found too much Salomon, but I paid three pound on that. Really nice colors on that. If that was a bit bigger, I probably would have kept it for myself. And then finally, we've got the beast of the day, the YSL quarter zip spell out with the arm embroidery. Finally found one of these out in the wild. Um, probably a little bit late to the party. I think maybe like 2016 to like 2018. These were like crazy, maybe like 250 pounds you could get for these. Um, but I think it's gone down to maybe 150 to like 180. I think the market is, but still crazy to find. Uh, I bought it off a guy's back. Uh, he was walking around and then I saw him and he went to go and get a coffee and then he sat there, had a coffee, then went and bought another coffee. I was obviously too scared to go up to him while he was having a drink because uh, it's me. And then eventually he started going up one of the rows 
And then I went up to him and yeah, asked him if he'd sell his fleece. I offered him uh, 25 pounds and then he said 35 and you got a deal. And I was happy to pay 35 for that all day long. I'll probably end up keeping it. It is a size medium, which surprises me. It fits so big. Um, so I'm gonna keep that one for myself probably. And maybe wait till winter and I might sell it. But yeah, I'm just really happy to find one of these eventually out in the wild. Um, not for charity shop or to car boot prices, but still a really, really good price and it fits me perfectly. So yeah, there's that one. That is it for everything that I found today. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new here, uh, follow my Instagram, my Depop. If you follow my Instagram, you see me find stuff um, on the day. So it'll be Saturday, Sundays and Wednesdays when I go car booting or other days during the midweek uh, where I go charity shopping. Uh, so yeah, if you want to see me find stuff early before the YouTube video, go follow my Instagram. And I think that's it. Just follow the wholesale Instagram again down there at the bottom of the screen. So follow that and you'll see the sort of stuff that we're putting out in the wholesale container. And yeah, thanks for watching. I think the Grease, 15 in Grease video is going to be out this weekend, hopefully. Uh, if not, it'll be out the following week. Like the video, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs>